Now you know if you weren't making me so much money, I'd have ran you over, right? Yeah, you're welcome. Find yourself another street, too. You're about to name this one after me. We'll see. What up, fool? What Pluto? He was out all night. He said he was gonna link up with you. And what happened last night? I'm about to go work that out right now. You good? I will be. Yo, man is in motion. You got those bricks? I need you to get three of them to Pluto right now. Yes, Mr. Berman. Um, hold on one second. Can I help you? Yes, actually, I'm here to see Phil Lehman. Actually, we're preparing for a partner meeting, so you're gonna have to come back another day. And people usually make appointments before wanting to speak to a senior partner like Mr. Lehman. So let me take your Don't name. Don't worry, Robin. I'll wait. Mr. Weathers, can you please come into the reception? Hey, Robin. Uh, now's not a good time. We should be expecting him in the next couple of minutes. And uh, can we uh, just clear the reception, please? Thank you. Thank you, Robin. Reception's clear. Adam, Mark, Bob, this way, fellas. Listen. I don't know who you are or what you think I'm this Corey is. I'm Corey Prescott. Name is investment biggest client. OK. <laughs> Mr. Prescott, sorry for the misunderstanding. At 2.04 AM last night, my boots on the ground in the Asian market, where Payrock is located, told me that they had a large labor dispute that resulted in a stoppage of their production line. The Asian market? They're the largest bike manufacturing company in the world, and they supply 70% of all bikes to the US. And when we got the information, we started dumping the stock first thing this morning. Yeah, yeah we did this morning. Thank you. This morning. I sent the word out to you and 11 other investment companies to drop 80% of my alloy bike stock. They all did so at 2.15 AM, except for Lehman Investments. So when you say when the market opened, are you saying at 9.35 or after you got your coffee at 9.48? OK. Let's just all take a step back. I think we have a relationship moving forward with Mr. Prescott with our research. So Mr. Layman I... is on line one. Mr. Layman, you there? You hear us OK? Loud and clear. I assume you guys have met Corey. Yes, sir, Mr. Layman. We've just been discussing that how with our help and our resources that we could take Mr. Prescott's portfolio to that next level. Sir. Great news. Corey will let everyone know what their new roles are. New roles? Wait, Wait what? What do you mean new you roles, Mr. Layman? I've renegotiated this lease. Next week, 
This office has been closing. What do you mean closing? No, Mr. Lehman, we never had this discussion. We were supposed to renegotiate this lease and what's going on. I'm running on? our entire portfolio on this. A phone? This is your new office. Me, Pluto. Mr. Lehman. Guys, doing. Adam, my boy. Now you can make your coffee anytime you want. But between the two of you, you manage all our portfolios 24-7. Between the two of us? That's correct. Mark, your serves are no longer needed. Mr. Lehman, sir, I've been with you since day one. We built this place up from the ground up yeah, together from the ground up. Give me smokes with your eyes. You get rid of me. We're going to scream for you. I'm just smoked off the face. We're going outside right now. You better not be laying for me. I built this place. In financial news, Chicago Business reports that Lehman Investments has been acquired by Prescott Investments. The entire brokerage community is at a complete loss as to how two-year-old Prescott Investments has been able to yield better returns than the national average. You see how you get me ruined, boy? <laughs> oh, this is nice, man. Yeah. How much this hit you for? Oh, man, I pay like $34,900. Only like four fifty dollars a month. 50 a month? Yes, sir. But then you know, when you're done with this, man, it's really gonna be more like 39.5. Five years of insurance is about 6,700. Gas, gonna be about 7,800. Maintenance, if you're lucky, gonna be about 2,500. All together, man, this car really hits for $56,000. You know, if you'd have gave me that same 450 a month in five years, I could have made you 45.8. $11,000 in interest. Better ride nice, though. You're gonna name a street after you one day.